What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Tiffany Haddish is a very interesting person. Um, You know, she's getting sued by everybody. Can't keep a man. Uh, Getting dumped, emotionally unstable. And I know that she's had some problems in her own personal life that could have led to her situations that she's experiencing. But if she can be successful in the industry, she should also be successful in other places. But let's talk about the industry because she is an actress in Hollywood. And, And due to that, Tiffany Haddish has a new show. Okay. It is a new show about successful women dating homeless men. Now, I want you I want you to understand something. It sounds like that doesn't even make sense, okay? On the on the on, on, from the outset, you look at that and it doesn't seem feasible. Especially we talk about successful black women, I'm not selling for less. You know, this and that. I I I don't went to school. I've done this and that. It doesn't make sense, right? But I want to go back to this interview I did with Dr. Tiasan Johnson about two years ago, talking about ladies who would deal with men exclusively who had prison records. Let's play that clip. So you know, we we talk about son husbands as boys whose biological mothers kind of have them play husband roles in their lives play roles mm-hmm. that are really you know inappropriate um and it doesn't have to get sexual but unfortunately there are times where it, it does there's sexual violation in, re- in regard to that but for the most part when we talk about son husbands these are biological offspring that are asked to play emotionally uh laborious roles for mothers that usually are reserved for you know men um with husband sons one of the mm-hmm. things i began to notice is that you had well-to-do women who were employed, who were educated, so on and so forth, and who would use the rationale that there were no other options and they would choose men that were intentionally in such a low position that those men could not offer much challenge. So in other words, they were in the dominant position in the relationship. These men depended on them for hearth and home, for uh, income, for food, for everything. And if they were so much, if there was so much as an argument, those men would be out on the street. Mm Mm-hmm. So it's really it really came down as a, to be a control measure, really. But sure. whether you're talking about, you know, especially if you're dealing with women that, you know, decide at a certain point that they want to have children, they want to be married, so on and so forth, and they just chose somebody that they knew. Them. Okay, so let me let me ask you this: a woman who has been educated, doing very well in the private sector, all of these things. Why then would she as a woman be interested in dating a man? Think about this. Dating a man who is homeless. Because we've always heard, I'm not selling for less. I'm not selling for no broke man. I'm educated. I didn't did this and I didn't did that and hoop to hoop to whoop to whoop to and everything else, right? But listen to what Dr. Tiasan talked about. In, in in terms of the men who are what? Incarcerated, coming out of prison. Because if those men don't follow the rules, what can happen to them? They kick them out. They kick them out. That is what they do. They kick them out. Do you understand that? They're trying to control these guys. And let me tell you something. It's not, look at the trends you're seeing. Women who are dating guys that make less money than them in their prime. Kiki Palmer, Darius Jackson. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Usually a woman in her prime don't do that. But you're seeing it happen now. That's not the only example either. Lizzo, Mike Wright. Well, she's not really in her prime or anything. She's young, young enough, 35. Now, the next thing they're going to be doing is going to the homeless shelter. Okay? And the reason why they're doing it is because 
there is no other option for some of them. Now, how they're gonna try to dress it up is, us successful women want to help these men get off the streets. We wanna date these homeless guys because we can really mold a man, we can change him. Let me talk to you about that. Let's talk about a, success, a successful situation. Tia Maori, Corey Hardwick. Now he was not homeless, but he was doing worse than she was. Okay. Let's let's suppose that you get a situation like that. A woman cleans up a homeless man. He starts to do better. Guess what? Within about 10 to 15 years, she's going to start to resent that man. Okay. And then when she wants to leave him, she's going to say, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm quite tired of sacrificing myself for him. You know, I didn't went through all these years. I've been dealing with this particular man. I'm tired of dealing with this man. You know, I, I wanted somebody on my level in the first place. You know, I'm tired of building him back up. But that's what they're going to do because so many ladies out there who are successful, they are finding out it's hard to keep a guy. It's hard to compete for the top guys. Why? Those guys are gone. And, and, and they hated Kevin Samuels when he was saying, die alone, die with a cat, things like that. But now we're, but, but the thing about it is, now we're making TV shows about it and women are producing it because for a lot of them, this is their reality. Their reality. Their reality. Okay. That's their reality. And it's going to be a lot more ladies doing that. And they're going to try to make it something, move the goalposts. It will be like, I don't want no broke man to now I want a homeless man. Oh, but he's sexy though. <laughs> he homeless, but he got a BD though. He homeless, but he's smart though. And we all, we all know how it's going to turn out. These are going to be the same guys that's going to be disrespected. I'm going to tell you one thing. Here's what you're going to find out. Here's the kicker. A lot of these homeless guys that you're going to see these women dating are not going to be black. They're going to be going after homeless white guys. I'm going to tell you why. Firstly, a lot of ladies, because of the sperm thing and a lack of ability to get black sperm, you see, if they get a white homeless person, in my honest opinion, it's more favorable than a black homeless man. It's more favorable, because at least he's white. And a white man can give you mixed children. Oh, that's a win, isn't it? Ain't that a win? You get you a white brad, put him in a suit, get some, get some babies. They ain't gotta know how much he make. It don't matter, it, it don't matter either. He's white. Boom, boom, checks, mark, checks, mark. Girl, I'm so proud of you, girl. Wow, what kind of job he got? Oh, well, he's in between jobs, baby. You know, he he works at Homeless Incorporated. You know, he, he his uh he, you know, he works over at Trash Boulevard, something like that. That's what you're going to see. Okay? Period the point blank. You're gonna see that. And it's gonna be a big time. Listen, black men for the win. We predicted it. And you, you, you would never see 40, 50 years ago, successful women even think about dating a homeless man, especially if she's good looking. But you can see it, you can think about it now. It's a reality. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy Shay Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. Appreciate you for already discovered the bell. We're out.